Welcome back, fellow cat enthusiasts. In this segment, we'll dive deep into the world of dimensional constraints in AutoCAD. Dimensional constraints are like the architects of your design. They ensure that your geometry stays true to its intended measurements. Think of them as virtual rulers and protractors that maintain distances, angles, and proportions. Open your AutoCAD drawing. Select the objects you want to constrain. Head over to the Parametric tab in the AutoCAD ribbon. Choose the desired constraint type, whether it's linear, radial, or angular. Click on the appropriate points or lines to establish the constraint. Remember, there are two types of constraints, dynamic and annotational. You can change the type by clicking on Dimensional drop-down menu. Dynamic constraints maintain their size even when you zoom in or out, while annotational constraints change size based on the view. They display calculated values without controlling associated geometry. Think of them as your design's little sidekicks. Apply constraints to common shapes. Watch how they affect modifications. Imagine drawing a rectangle that always maintains its proportions, no matter how you tweak it. Adjust constraint styles and settings. You're now armed with the knowledge to wield dimensional constraints like a pro. Whether you're designing buildings, machinery, or intricate patterns, these tools will be your best friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, keep creating amazing things in AutoCAD.